Alright guys, so as promised, uh, we're going to be installing Squid in this video, and in the video after, we're going to be getting ad zapped. So, which is a wicked uh, little installation you put into Squid. So, when Squid is, uh, sorry, when you're browsing your internet through the Squid, uh, the proxy server, uh, ad zapped will block and hide, like, it'll zap the ads pretty much that will uh, pop up and all those annoying ads on the sides of your screens and everything like you shouldn't get any more uh, more pop-ups and if a pop-up does come up it might just be like a blank page or something and you'll see like this ad has been zapped so it, it's very safe browsing and you're gonna see with squid your browsing is gonna be a lot faster too because it caches your websites so like the more times you go to like Facebook Google you know all of your main sites you, they're just gonna load like instantly so if you have like dial-up and stuff this is good too you'll see an improvement in, especially for that so just to show you that everything works here my Internet Explorer is on okay I can browse alright uh, Google Chrome same thing. The Google Chrome is a little slow. Okay. Done. So just to show you that that works. So here's our server. It's on. But uh, we've installed Putty. So I'm going to log into it through Putty. Okay. So test proxy and then load. alright and I'm just gonna change some settings here alright so just made it a little bigger here okay so we're gonna log in alright so we're logged in so uh, the first thing we want to do is uh, just do a sudo get app install squid 3 this is recent this is uh, 2012 using Ubuntu 12.04 so I'm going to be installing squid3 so sudo app get 3 and your password and then you hit yes y for yes okay so this doesn't take too too long so once this is installed Okay, so it's installed, so we can do a uh, sudo uh, get update, just to update it, see if there's any updates for it. Alright, so I'm just going to clear this. So we can uh, easily test this by uh, now configuring our web browsers to point to our proxy server. So if you forget or you didn't write down your IP address for this proxy, you can do an IF config. Okay, so as you can see right here, this is my uh, IP address, so 192.168.0.14. So let me just open up Internet Explorer here, because just a little trick, uh, the settings you apply to Internet Explorer will also affect Google Chrome so I know some people they have a hard time trying to find like exactly the proxy settings well it's it's simple in uh, Explorer you just click on the little gear wheel go to Internet Options and then you want to go to Connections and then down here you're going to want to set your uh, LAN settings and then you just want to enable proxy Okay, so I've already have mine set to my server, and by default, Squid uses port three one two eight. So just enter in the IP address of your proxy server, and then port three one two eight, and then hit OK, and then hit OK here, and then we're just going to refresh this page, and as you can see now, I I have no connection. So Squid three is installed. But there is, uh, we haven't set anything up yet. Like everything's blocked. Okay. So I'm going to close this. Same with Google Chrome. You know, you c I can get here because this is just 
the Google Chrome, Chrome uh, wow, Google Chrome page, but I can't go anywhere else. All right. So what we're gonna do now is, I've went and uh, online, and I found a good config file for basic configuration here. So, like I said, guys, I'm still kind of new, but I figured this out. Uh, I went through a lot of issues doing this, and I got it all figured out. So I'm going to go through it again with you guys, and hopefully you guys learn from this. Because, hell, like, I didn't know anything, and I figured out code error. So, jeez. All right, so what you want to do is you want to... can. Um, Sorry, you want to uh, edit your uh, squid config file. And that's located in, um, you can go change directory. So cd forward slash etc forward slash squid 3 forward slash. Or just hit enter. Okay, so now we're in that directory. So we can do an ls. And this is what we have inside the squid3 folder so you want to see your squid.conf now this is your main your main configuration file here so if you want we can back this file up so just do a cp for copy squid.conf and then space and if you wanted to put this file into another folder you can go like you, you know users uh, whatever, like whatever s directory you want to do, like etc. Wow, sorry about the spelling. Wow, you know, any like you can put it wherever you want, just name the path. But for this case, we're just going to copy it into this folder. So I'm just going to name it squid.conf and original, and then hit enter. Oh, sorry, got to hit a sudo. Okay, so now we do ls and we now can see our copied file here. Alright, so now we want to uh, configure, um, edit our squid file. So sudo, and I use nano as a uh, config, as a text editor. Squid.conf, okay, and this is it. Now this is going to take a while and it might scare a lot of people, but I'm going to cut the bullshit here and I'm totally going to just delete this whole file here. So I'm going to put this on pause because this does take a few minutes. So what you want to do is just go, uh, you want to hit control K and you're just going to start deleting this. and. If you guys haven't seen this file, there's over 5,000 lines of code here. So yeah, give me a minute and we are going to build this from scratch. Well, I lie. We're going to copy and paste it from someone else who's built it. But I've tested it and it's good. There was a lot of hiccups in it, but we'll get through it. Alright, so I'm done finally. <coughs> If uh, someone knows a faster way for me to do that, please leave a comment because that took like five minutes of just deleting lines. But anyways, let's move on. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to copy over this. Uh, there, whoops. Sorry about that. Okay, so I just copied over the uh, config file here. So if you hold shift and hit page up, or sorry, just page up, you can uh, scroll the, the file here. So I'm at the top of the file and I only got that left. So what you want to do is go through it. Okay, so this is the uh, ACL, is the access control list. And if you look kind of closely down here, you know, we can clean this up a bit. So, put all the uh, accesses uh, together and stuff. It doesn't really matter how this is spaced out, but it does matter what uh, order they're in. 
like especially uh, these here the access HTTP access so if you had let's say allow manager local host um, deny manager and then deny save ports and then oh you wanted to deny the manager well it's gonna read from top to bottom so it's gonna hit allow and that's as far as it's gonna go so if manager tries to log in it's gonna hit allow or in this case deny and it's gonna not allow it to log in but if you wanted it to be allowed let's say down here that would not work so this does play a big part in the config file right here and you can like make your own folders add them into the ACL and then you know allow access to the folder or group whatever so but we can get into that later on for now we're just gonna set it up to uh, allow access to your network so what you want to do now is uh, pay attention to the top here of the file where it says local net that's your local network okay so by default I put it at 192.168.0.0 this originally came with a one here which wasn't my network and I kinda picked that up right away I was on a 0, .0 in a 24 uh, bit subnet mask so you wanna give that a change uh, these 127s, those are just your loopback addresses, so they're fine. That's just for your, your host computer. And what you want to do now, see here's your port that uh, you're listening to it on, your proxy. So you can change that if you wish. doesn't matter. By all means, go ahead and change it. So now that that's done we can hit control O to save enter and then control X to exit out of it alright so now we're back so now we want to do a sudo service squid 3 restart it's gonna take a second here and restart the squid service okay so it stopped and now it's starting so now we can reload a web page and what the hell right yeah that's me when I first fucking oops sorry for swearing <laughs> but that's me when I uh, first did this I was all excited at first and I went and did that and I still had no access so I'm just going to show you how I figured this out after, like, I'm not joking, like, an hour of staring at that one config file, and then I just realized something, it just clicked. Okay, so we're going to check this out. Okay, so up here, you can see access list, local net, okay, so the access list for local net, is searching 192.168.0.0 and then to local host which is my computer that I'm using that's just my those are just my uh, loopback addresses and down here you got your safe ports see that safe ports and then it lists all the ports and if you look here you'll notice that there's no uh, access HTTP access for the local net and it took me forever to realize that for some reason I got two local host which would be my computer that I'm using but I need it for my whole network because the computer I'm using doesn't have a goddamn screen it's just code so it doesn't make a difference to me so I need my Windows computer back here to allow to have access through my proxy which is why this is a perfect test environment okay so what you want to do is you can throw it up here right underneath local host here and just hit uh, enter for space and go HTTP access allow uh, local net ok 
Okay, that's it. And then you want to hit Control Zero to save it. Control X to exit. And then you want to hit your uh, sudo service restart. All right, it's gonna restart now. Okay, you guys see that it's running. And now, well, bam, we got it. So it's working. Facebook, you know, uh, I don't know, YouTube. Okay. You know, Google Chrome's working. It's just resolving the proxy there. Okay, so there we go. Facebook. It's all good to go now, alright? So now, if you want to, like, check some access logs, let's say. Let me just clear this. This is a good little thing because then you can uh, like kind of see what's going on on your network. So this is why it's good for you know either parents if you really want to get involved and go deep on your kids surfing, you can use this and you'll have everything. But this would be more used in a business network where you're trying to control access to to networks and or sorry internet use. So let me just uh, change directory. Sorry about that, guys. <clears throat> Took me a second to remember where I f found that uh, folder. So if you want to see access to your uh, internet, it's a little hard to read, so you might want to do a little bit of research online on how to really read this file. But it is good, and I honestly don't know how to exactly read it. But it is located in your uh, var, and then log. So you can hit enter, and then list. Okay, and you can see over here you got your squid 3. So you can do a uh, change directory for squid 3. <coughs> List again. And you got access log and cache log. So you want to do a suit, or you just want to look at it. So nano. And I got permission denied because it is a config file. Not a config file, but like a, it is a log file. So you just want to exit out of here, all right? So just issue a sudo nano. All right, so this will tell you everything. So you can see at the starting, like when we first tried it out, that was denied, remember? Okay, and then as you go down, I don't know. I guess you'd have to know how to read it. I thought there'd be a lot more to it, but anyways, you can kind of see things like you can see where I went to, and you know I was on uh, Facebook, MSN, Twitter, I guess. A lot of things: YouTube, SquidCash.org. Okay, but it's just a good file. You can get used to that, so, so you can check that out. And uh, you can probably also go check out your cache, which is uh okay. This is another good thing to read too. These files here will like just log information about your squid server. So if you have to troubleshoot it, these two are good files to know about. So again, it's in uh, root, and then var, and then forward slash log. And then forward slash squid3 and then at squid3 just do a list command ls and you'll see the two files there so change directory clear this alright so yeah that's pretty much it for squid as you can see that it's working so in the next video we're going to uh, check out ad zapper it's an awesome program and uh, you guys are really gonna like this again it took me a while to get this thing working but you know I figured it out and I'm not gonna post something that I wasn't sure of alright thanks guys